Hey everybody, look what I have. This is um, this is the Vega V2 bearing removal tool. I've been fortunate enough to get a hold of it, the prototype for a few weeks. Now, because this is a prototype, the um, the actual one that go that went into production is going to be a darker metal. So this is gray, but the one that if you were to buy one of these, it would be a darker like gunmetal. So this isn't a review, this is more of a, um, hey, what can this thing do, what's new, and how does it compare to the old one, the V1, which is right here. So right off the bat, you can tell that the V2 is taller and it's thicker. It's actually lighter than the V1, believe it or not. And the reason it's lighter is because it's made out of aluminum. This one was made out of stainless steel. And you can tell that it's taller, again. And that's so that you can um, you get a better grip on it. Whereas with the old one, if you kind of hold it and, and use it like this, you really don't have, I mean, you're, it's not a great grip, it's not a bad grip, but this one, you actually can grip the whole thing. And speaking of grip, you can see the, the coin edge going all the way around it. There's also another feature I'm gonna talk about with grip, but you're gonna to have to wait for that. So let's take it apart and take a look at it. So I'm going to unscrew it. And right off the bat, you can tell that this is a lot smoother. It's, it's got a big rounded edge, whereas the oh, V1, let's unscrew this guy. This has a, a sharper edge. So on quiet hands, they rounded this off. They eliminated this piece over here. And if you're familiar with the V1, you'll know that they, it came with these other pieces that push the uh, bearing through two of them, a large one and a small one. The difference now being that there's an actual lip on these, on the edge of them. Oops. And that one flying, because it's, it's pretty light. It's a lot lighter. This again is aluminum, which is nice, because it makes the whole overall piece lighter. And I'll go more into this lip in a little while. I'm gonna put it aside for now. These are the two pieces where the spinner rests when you're using the tool. So, this, um, the way, the V1, the last one, these are 3D printed pieces in the original one. These are not. So this is a solid plastic piece. There's nothing glued together like in the last one. And the same goes for the wider one. Those are the two pieces there. Let's move everything out of the way. I'm gonna move you guys too. All right, let's take a look at this. So. I said before, this is a lot lighter than the other one, and that's because it's aluminum. It's also because there are holes drilled going all the way around it. The holes go about halfway through. And the reason they go halfway through is because there's a secret hidden compartment on the bottom. And in that compartment, you can store bearings. You can each, um, each little hole, you can store five bearings. So you can fit and store 20 bearings in here and it comes flush to the top. So you're not gonna worry about them rattling around and as you can see there is metal up top so you don't have to worry about moisture or anything from that top part so they will be safe and secure in the bottom of this tool this part right here the the screw right here where you drop your bearing onto is also slightly wider than the v1 and let me get rid of this and it actually makes a significant difference because the uh, bearing doesn't go wobbling down the side. So if I take this and put it on that one, you can see how there's like, there's give. And I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you're dropping it into an actual spinner, it could land lopsided and it could damage the, the actual bearing. This one, you can see there really is very little give. It's nice. And if you haven't noticed, there is a little area up top for, a, for an Allen wrench where you can unscrew this piece. So if you damage any of the threading by any chance, you can take it off and replace it with a new one. So this whole thing unscrews, comes off, and I believe Tom's going to be including another one of these just in case, so you'll have a backup. Okay, 
Let's see this bad boy in action. Place this plastic piece right here, move everything out of the way. And I have got my abacus. I'm gonna slide it on. And as you can see right there, it is, there really is, there's, there's no give. I'm like, you can't even hear it rattle. So this piece that I was mentioning before, it has this lip. And what makes it so great is that once it pushes through, this will rest on top. And you can just pull it, pull them both up at the same time. I'm gonna rest this on top. And there's a tiny bevel inside and it helps you guide right onto the screw. So you can just start to screw it on. And I'm just gonna bring it up to the camera so you can see. Okay. Just turn it, pushes the bearing all the way through. And there it goes. And now I'm going to take it out. And if I lift it up, it's resting right there. This also serves another purpose, which I'll, I'll show you right now. So I'm gonna take the, take the bearing out and let's say, okay, I put a new one, I'm gonna put a new one in. Um, I am not going to, for the sake of time, put any glue, any Loctite on it. So I'm gonna put this back on. Let's just say that I did put Loctite on it and I'm gonna drop it on. Let's bring it up close so you can see. Oops, well, that wasn't aligned. You know what, <laughs> let's put it in the middle, drop it on. Boom, there it is. So now I'm gonna take this, except this time, I'm going to have this facing down and it's going to go flush with the bottom of the actual spinner so that the bearing is perfectly, it, it just aligns perfectly with the spinner. So here we go. I rested it on top like that. I'm gonna start to screw it on and I can, I've got a nice grip on it and zip it down. That was actually bad. Don't do what I just did. I usually <laughs> try and rest it there. Okay, it's aligned. It is aligned and I'm going to keep going. And I feel it hit the end and there it is. I'm gonna take it off now. Now we can go fast. Before, not such a good idea. All right, it's taking this guy off. And as you can see, it is aligned perfectly. Oops. But wait, there's more. I remember before I was talking about the grip and um, the coin edge grip. Well, Tom also included these bands of rubber and they go up, they fit on here. And you can do it in various different configurations. You know, let me put this on so I don't stab myself. Okay. So you can take one, put it on the top and have one on the bottom. So here I am. There we go. And then there's another one right here. There are actually three of them. This one will fit and make it flush so that there are three in a, so that the whole thing is covered in rubber. All right, let's get it. Let's do it just to show you. So if you want some extra grippy action and you're worried that a, that the tool is going to fly out of your hand for some reason. You've got this. And it goes flush with the bottom. It just needs to do a little bit of adjusting. And actually, everything does line up. Ta-da! So you have a really strong grip. Now, the bottom one was initially intended to go on this top piece right here so that you can have a, a better grip on that as well. Here we 
go. Let's throw it on. Okay. So I'm going to pull this down to the bottom just because I want grip going all the way around. But I, you know, this is, you can use it any way you want. And now you have extra grip on top. And there you have it. The Vega V2 bearing removal tool. Here are all its parts. It also comes with these same um, parts that the V1 came with, which, um, you use if you have a really stubborn stubborn bearing in a spinner. So you'd pretty much place these three on top of the bearing and then push it down and magical physics will, will help a tough bearing come out. That's it. Thanks for watching.